Hello everyone and now welcome to a game. This game is going to be between Hawk and Dice taking place here on a Terranus stand. Well, patch 1.36 is upon us and um and, and there's no microwave timer. <laughs> Old school without the microwave timer. Wow. Wild Striker, you really have been watching me for a long time. And it wasn't a microwave timer, it was a Pyrex timer. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down in this matchup. Hawk spawning as the blue human on the top left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Dice spawning as the yellow night elf. Um, well, for those of you guys, eagle-eyed viewers, obviously I do not have the overlay. And I'm trying to actually use this new overlay that they're talking about. But, like, I'm trying... You know, see, don't have unit production or anything like that. Um, I don't even know how to enable the new interface. I feel like I, I spent a couple of minutes with Observer Chat trying to tell me, hey, did you try this? Did you try this? Um, so I'll try to give, I'll, I'll play with it in a little bit. Hopefully it is, um, it is not too difficult to enable as, well, unfortunately, what, um, unfortunately, we Excuse me. Unfortunately, what? Unfortunately, um, well, what? W3 booster was was broken in, in order to get this. The new observer mode is a lie. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it only works when you're observing another game and it doesn't work on replays, right? So apparently observer mode versus replay mode is different, which would like... If, if that's actually a thing, uh, yeah, maybe observer mode is only for live games. And, and in which case and point, um, well, it's well, absolutely no benefit to me. That would suck so much. Yeah, something that I would actually need to test. And uh, well, maybe, maybe that is the case. Maybe the obser new observer mode only works for live games and not actually for replays, which would re be really bad. Anyways, at least really bad for me. Anyways, come back around. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and clear out to this mercenary camp here. Going to get to level 2. There's another lightning shield onto that rogue. That rogue is going to actually be dealing a little bit more damage to that Demon Hunter. Frost armor um, debuff now being applied to the Demon Hunter as it looks as though, wow, a beautiful play by Hawk. Hawk being able to escape away with a 29 hit point footman now trying to retreat back. Demon Hunter is going to be going up against a Mountain King. Mountain King first here. Um, interesting call as... Well, Hawk perhaps thought he was going to be going up against a Keeper of the Grove. Trying to go Mountain King first up into a Demon Hunter. I am expecting a Blood Mage second. Otherwise, that Mountain King is never going to have mana even to use. Demon Hunter here. Going to go after this Rogue Wizard Creep Camp. We do not see any immolation being used by the Demon Hunter at all. I don't know what its skill points all are. Everything is just... Um, um, everything is just, well, kind of broken here. Demon Hunter getting Ring of Protection plus four. Yeah, maybe I should have done a, a computer versus computer matchup to see if... And I understand what you mean now, Wild Striker. Thank you very much. Coming back around, Demon Hunter are going to come across and then perhaps Mana Burn from behind that mountain. Are we going to see a Storm Bolt? We are going to see... Uh, we are going to see... A, no, we, we haven't seen a Storm Bolt as of yet. Immolation now coming back across. There is the Storm Bolt there. Demon Hunter now taking quite a bit of damage here. We do see a Tome of Strength plus two. That's going to be picked up. No, not going to be picked up. Taking on that Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Both sides still fighting their way through. Immolation trying to burn through all of these poor peasants as the mountain king now getting up to level three are we going to see a bash perhaps demon hunter not bothering to pick up that at all demon hunter still using immolation again and again and may be able to take down some of these peasants there goes another as well as the demon hunter still chasing after all of these units here all right forest troll berserker is continuing to pick off low hit point units there were kobolds in that battle as well as the mountain king picks up a tome of strength off to the north Forest Troll Shadow Priest of Dice does get taken down. It looks as though we are going to be teching, not teching the Tier 2, but perhaps trying to set up an expansion here in just a moment. Tech to Tier 2 already nearly done by Dice. Dice with a rather small army and now has moved his Ancient of War off to the north side. It will be able to tank damage here as the Demon Hunter tries and once more shows back up to the party to try and clean things up. That one of mana stealing getting quite a few charges there, taking on a couple more of these 
of these peasants as well is that demon hunter stays still at level two mountain king staying at level three tech to tier two has not started since that well cancellation of that expo as dice now looking to retreat back meanwhile ancient of war tanking quite a bit of damage wisp coming back across is going to try and repair as the demon hunter will be getting quite a bit of ex long distance experience here with those forest troll berserkers finishing off those units all right, what is that demon hunter going to do? He's going to continue to slice and dice his way through many of these footmen and of these other units here. One more shot, two more shots. Yes, does go ahead and take it down again. Mountain King, however, coming in with a big bash, able to do in a little bit of damage. That altar of kings not in the right spot. There goes another mana burn. No more storm bolt possibilities. Immolation looks as insane as ever. Um, well, Immolation was insane there, partially because of the wand of mana stealing constantly giving more mana to um, the mountain king right there also that immolation was being used against mainly low hit point peasants so those low hit point peasants just needed a little bit of additional damage and perhaps not going to be nearly as effective when it when it comes time here all right footman trying to retreat back here cold arrows going down onto these units are we going to see some cold arrows there goes the one dead footman again forest troll berserker still joining in on this fight we are going to see a bash right there as the wisp does get in the harm's way here cold arrows could still be letting fly as another footman gets taken down ancient of war joining in on the battle as well this naga see which picking off units easily as the well expansion now going to be up and operational one arcane tower here a footman also guarding this narrow narrow walkway as the arcane tower now feeding back quite a bit of mana and while well, trying to retreat back again force troll berserker is going to push on in here and perhaps try and take down some of these peasants those peasants taking quite a bit of damage 28 to 37 from each of those and it just seems like the uh, the random number and um, damage is just seeming to be higher here as hawk constantly getting taken out again all right forest troll berserkers perhaps going to try and push back here mountain king now heading back off to the north as the demon king naga sea witch now sliding back down to the south all right we are looking at dual ancients of lore slow poison is a definite possibility we are teching to tree of eternity meaning bears are going to be um, with bears and or mountain giants should be joining in momentarily claws of attack plus four even though the icon still says plus five right here it is claws of attack plus four dealing a little bit of damage once more demon king versus demon hunter versus mountain king did i did i misspeak all right, I apologize for any mis misspoken descriptions as the Mountain King now trying to retreat back here. All right, Mountain King, are we going to see any more storm or are we going to see any storm bolts at all as the Ancient of War down to 245 hit points? Naga Sea Witch trying to buy a little bit of time. What is this Ancient of War doing? Ancient of War purposely engaged against some other units here to try and buy a little bit of time here. Force Troll Berserker still taking a little bit of damage over time. Once again, as the Demon Hunter shows back up to the party, does have a Staff of Preservation, could try and save some of these units here as the Mountain King. Yes tries the storm bolt but dice with that staff of preservation essentially burning that mana or forcing a hawk to burn that mana again naga see which gonna get cleaned up here uh, demon hunter well demon hunter de de decent hit point staff of teleportation gonna continue to move on in perhaps take down this renegade wizard now at least it's not anti-mage versus zeus yeah all right naga see which gonna get cleaned up here units now trying to retreat back and here we are, off we go. Demon Hunter picks up a tome right there, just shy of level four. Meanwhile, Naga's Sea Witch, um, well, halfway to level three. This creep camp should get cleared up quite quickly and easily. These Forest Troll Berserkers, however, are low on hit points and do need to be sent back. Naga Sea Witch is going to pick up that tome there. Meanwhile, Mountain King looks like it should be able to get off a Storm Bolt or two as the Demon Hunter, well, flies in from behind no boots of speed there stormbolt onto a druid of the claw in a transit that's going to be a big deal we may see that mana burn there's a hundred point mana burn but the mountain king may be able to get off a stormbolt is he going to be able to get off a stormbolt does get it off and does in fact finish it off the mana burn not in time thank you for the follow good day well incoming board oh, well all right well, I guess I can complain to the Back to Warcraft people that the overlay does not work in observer mode, or at least not that I have seen as of yet. So um, thank you everyone for tuning on in from the Back to Warcraft raid. 
as games are, well, as we try and figure out the Warcraft 3 community after this most recent patch 1.36. Isn't it kind of funny that observer, the new observer mode, it doesn't work for observers uh, when observing replays like that just seems really, really odd. All right. Hawk actually going for an Archmage second instead of a Blood Mage. Mountain King is going to be spending a good amount of gold constantly trying to use clarity potions in order to have any bit of mana against this level four suit, level four and leveling up Demon Hunter. Um, Thank you for the follow. Demon Hunter now heading off to the north here. Rejuvenations from the Druid of the Claws should re really be applied to the Forest Troll Berserkers. And, well, the Druids of the Claw may stay in that Druid form for quite some time. Coming back down to the south side here, more Druids of the Claw should be trained up. We're looking at, well, not enough gold here. And speed building now an Arcane Sanctum down to the south as we are at keep level. Naga Sea Witch still, well, trying to clear out these southern creep camps here perhaps we'll see a level five level five demon hunter or a level four naga sea witch as the mountain king once more with those clarity potions and that pendant of energy tries to test the waters are we going to see a storm bolt yes we are mana burn not in time thank you for the sub classic modern blizzard yep classic modern blizzard Thank you for the follows. Demon Hunter now looking to clear up this Renegade Wizard Creep Camp. Should be able to do so with no problems. Druid of the Claw currently low on mana as we see a Lightning Shield being applied down to that Forest Troll here. Archmage looking to get level 2 and grab Brilliance Aura. That will really help out the mana overall on that Mountain King in addition to the Priest and new casters that are slowly joining in on this army. All right. Footman looking to well, fall back here as we have this final Forest Troll High Priest Creep Camp, which should be cleared in order to set up this Tree of Life. Thank you for the follows. Demon Hunter now clearing up this Kobold Forest Troll Berserker Forest Troll High Priest Creep Camp here. We are still sitting at 49 supply, going up against 66 now. Hawk has a definitive supply advantage with this Expo here, as this Expo is very well defended and it should not fall anytime soon. Meanwhile, Nagasi, which is just shy of level 4, and, and once we do get to level 4, we, we should be opening up to level 2 Fork Lightning. All right. Nagasi, which what did it pick up? A potion of lesser invulnerability. Demon Hunter picking up all that experience there. Nagasi, which was just on the other side of the forest, didn't get any of the, that experience. All right, let's go into this battle here. Level two Archmage and level um, level four Mountain King. We see a quick mana burn followed by a quick exit with that Staff of Preservation, just trying to, well, keep mana in check. If this Mountain King is able to land those Storm Bolts, the battle will go in a very different direction, especially if it's able to land Storm Bolts on, say, Druids of the Claw still while in Druid form. Now, Army composition of dice is starting to grow, getting into 62 supply, but he is still not at saturation yet. Archmage moving off to the north here, looking to clear out some more creep camps, and it looks as though every single creep camp on the map will be cleared out here in just a moment. Archmage will get to level 3 barely, and now proceed with level 2 Brilliance Aura over level 2 Water Elementals. Now, Archmage is also picking up a large number of Scrolls of Healing. And, and remember, Scrolls of Healing do have a cooldown. So three Scrolls of Healing on that Archmage is not going to be overall that effective. Perhaps giving one to the Mountain King would work. But what item would you tr transfer back over? Perhaps that Scroll of Town Portal, giving both sides an opportunity to use some invulnerability if the time comes. Demon Hunter now picking up an orb of venom as well. A little bit of damage over time. It looks as though the claws of attack plus four were sold, even though they still have that plus five icon and um, plus five icon. Um, well, yeah, in its tooltip. Anyways, coming back here, Demon Hunter. I, I guess I forgot one creep camp here. There's a ring of superiority provides plus one to every single stat now as the units are on the move. Happy win round, th win third round. Not not sure. Re really don't know. All right. 
this ex this expo by dice not, very not well defended no real home field advantage either could have had a storm bolt from that mountain king there and before trying to transform as there's a quick reveal mountain king is going to be revealed there's the mana burn there's a thunderclap beautiful sense by dice to know that something was strange and odd mana flare hiding behind the woods here and that's going to be difficult to try and clear up as we're just seeing that damage getting racked up more and more demon hunter uh, well Going to transfer that Anka Reincarnation and now using Immolation as well. Both sides fighting their way through. Demon Hunter gets up to level 5. Are we going to be looking at level 3 Mana Burn here? That is the question as we see another, um, as we see another Thunderclap right there. Demon Hunter still really dishing out damage as well. We're looking at another level 2 or level 3 Mana Burn go down. Both sides suffering fairly heavy casualties. However, Dice coming out perhaps smelling a bit better here as he, he was able to save a couple or a druid of the claw and, well, deal quite a bit more damage back. Meanwhile, Hawk, Scroll of Town Portal retreating back here. He used up quite a bit of mana and items and still um, only sitting at 63 supply compared to his opponent's 79 supply. Dice with a clear advantage here as long as he can get those mana burns and not constantly sit um, in that thunderclap range. There goes a quick um, quick Stormbolt onto a Forest Troll Berserker that was taken down there. Happy got a reverse sweep. Oh, all right. Thank you for spoiling on my channel. <clears throat> Come back around. A Demon Hunter sitting at level 5. Naga Sewitch sitting at level 4. All of these Druids of the Claw do need to heal back up. They're going to get some rejuvenations going, um, going across as well. Perhaps get a little bit more mana in the meantime waiting for an additional rejuvenation there you are there you have it have you ever casted something with the people from back to warcraft um no i i there's been talk about trying to do something together sometimes and um, i th there was a small possibility that it would have happened at dreamhack but then um well after day one and after some unfortunate incidents with um with some players casting they're like no only neo remo and todd were allowed to cast at um at dreamhack anaheim all right quick bit of damage there fairy dragons well really using that mana flare effective against this backline group of casters who were constantly trying to heal we are getting back up to close to well that upper limit of low upkeep 72 supply over 78 going up against 80 over 80 here we are setting up a new tree of life neutron ruined it yeah neutron neutron kind of ruined it for me hope someday you can your style is quite unique ah oh, thank you thank you some people like the narration style. Um, some people don't. I mean, it, it helps with those slow moments in the game where players are just trying to position themselves here. Dice in this spot doesn't quite know how to go up against Hawk's army. And well, we'll need to really try to keep an eye out on this Mountain King. We saw those level two thunderclaps really um, just slow down the mountain or these bears in that front line spot, allowing cleanup damage from the riflemen, the spellbreakers, and even these casters in the back. They're dealing magic damage against these heavily armored, these heavy armored units. Fairy dragons. Oh, staff of preservation saving that fairy dragon there. We do see the moonwell upgrades back at home. And let's take a look at the armor upgrades. One, two on those bears going up against one, one against the spellbreakers and one, one on those flying machines. Mortar teams are currently sitting at one, zero. Um, if hopefully you guys can understand what the overall upgrades are as I cycled through all that there. has better map awareness yeah trying to keep track of uh, trying to keep track of them when neil and remo are casting together it, it's easier to have a, a more map awareness all right let's go ahead and come come down across here blizzard along the back side there mountain king quickly getting mana burn immolation on the front side here fairy dragon gonna be able to burn them off even more as we see slow being acquired applied to all of these druids of the claw scroll of healing working out fairly well as the flying machines now trying to 
eat through all of these fairy dragons should be able to do so easily and then now well they're completely useless they do not have the bombardment upgrade at all blizzard followed by thunderclap really eating through a lot of this damage here as the archmage pops a potion of invul in order to stay alive mountain king able to escape away at 28 hit points just able to shake off much of that damage as the demon hunter falls but he did have an onk of reincarnation mountain king still trying to retreat back here archmage could be in a little bit of trouble is he going to be able to get out no he is not naga sea which gets up to level five here and now with level five naga sea which we may be looking at level three fork lightning mountain king sitting at level five he is not currently being revealed at all as the demon hunter is still trying to lead the charge here naga sea which could be in trouble naga sea which gets taken down as the mountain king i believe tossed a storm bolt in her general direction more damage still racking up here mountain king does not have bash remember it went for thunderclap so it's not going to be able to re-engage here all that easily mountain king now trying to go up against the demon hunter mountain king or nope demon hunter trying to retreat away off to the north a little bit of a strange position here and dice actually perhaps going one bridge too far kind of scenario is now exposing himself to the majority of hawk's armor army all right demon hunter gets a mana burn off onto the priest there but the priest still able to um, stay alive once more meanwhile dice is mining away on this bottom left hand side of the map but this expansion will get cleaned up overall army composition 72 supply compared to 57 dice really on the receiving end of that battle here as hawk now tries to establish up an expo on the bottom left demon hunter could go into metamorphosis uh, or perhaps try to get in a big bit of damage and here we are here we go blizzard now coming back across you can see that ranged chaos poison damage really adding up quickly going after these spell breakers are in these tightly packed spell breakers is going to do quite a bit of damage as well as we see level six now on the mountain king level six mountain king stormbolt onto the naga sea witch it was that a level three stormbolt i believe it was naga sea witch now trying to retreat back out there goes a thunderclap as well fork lightning adding in more damage again as the naga sea witch sitting at 220 hit points could have given the anti-magic potion instead staff of preservations in a way as we're looking at a low hit point due to the claw now trying to fall back here dryads continuing to poke apart along the backside here as the rifleman should really be going after the dryads another drew to the claw gets taken down as the metamorphosis demon hunter gets stunned again both sides still fighting their way through perhaps could try and mana burn that mounting mountain king no not going to do so coming back around the other way and now back to his well still dangerous self all right more fork lightning triple peasants quickly getting cleaned up there naga sea which sitting at level five demon hunter getting halfway to level six storm boat staff of preservation save as the tree of life is still mining um mining considerable amount of gold and well while he has this gold advantage perhaps he can trade inefficiently but the hero level advantage of hawk is just or the hero level of dice is just going to slowly evade away as more and more units are just slowly and constantly killed demon hunter continuing to follow fight back here as the dryads trying to slow down this oncoming onslaught of spellbreakers demon hunter looking to retreat back here are we perhaps going to use the anti-magic potion no we are not there's another mana burn there mountain king coming back across does have a potion of mana we should see some damage on the demon hunter is down to 66 hit points slow poison applied to the mountain king as the demon hunter fighting next to this ancient of wonders able to buy another potion of healing stormbolt goes down staff of preservation for the save as the mountain king well trying to test the waters mountain king's been at level six for quite some time demon hunter as well but demon hunter getting closer to level seven so he it has been slowly killing off a little bit more spellbreaker starting to fall as well flying machines still have nothing to target as priest could end up getting taken down here getting lost in transit all right demon hunter trying to test the waters this arcane vault gonna constantly oh there's that anti-magic potion able to shake off a little bit of that damage there's another mana burn there as the well demon hunter being forced to retreat back again naga sea which does in fact have a staff of preservation are we going to see another staff of preservation yes we are after a mana burn to retreat back as the mountain king well now back up to a scary amount of mana but the dryads are not concerned still getting some repairs underway spellbreaker could end up getting taken down it does fall mountain king getting the storm bolt onto the naga sea witch but protected by well what is a group of dryads called i don't know i don't know what a what to call a group of dryads 
All right, still coming back through. Um, Naga Seawitch looking to perhaps try and get some Fork Lightning to pick off some of these other units here. Are we going to see a little, the quick detonation? And now Naga Seawitch could be in trouble. Demon Hunter is nearby. Are we going to see a staff for preservation? Yes, after that Fork Lightning, taking down that Arcane Vault, trying to remove some of that home field advantage. And still, Dice is able to mine off of this gold mine. Another Mana Burn going on through again as we are looking at Immolation, trying to go after that backline group of units. Spellbreakers coming back across the other side. There goes a... a I, I believe that was a storm boat there as the demon hunter now could be in a little bit of trouble trying to go after the mortar team there's metamorphosis going to go ahead and fight back the other way again as the dryads are still fighting here level seven now on the demon hunter demon hunter going strictly after that mortar team as the mortar team is the one that is going to be dealing the most amount of damage to those dryads which is keeping dice in this game storm boat now on the onto the demon hunter demon hunter down to 430 hit points and that is going to be the game dice outlasting his opponent with um, just a little bit more, um, well, mind more, well, Hawk mind more gold. How did that work? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hawk. Wait, how did that work? Hawk mind more gold. Cause he started first, but later on dice had the higher hero level in order to just stick around just a bit longer. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.